Hello everybody and welcome to Giant Machines 2017. The game volume, the music is very loud here and I can't find an option to turn it down so I'm going to have to speak very loudly just over the main menu. But basically Giant Machines 2017 allows you to drive any monstrous and mighty machine. Um, so without any further ado, let's just move off the main menu and we'll start a new game and I think it's going to speak to us in a minute or two. Your first task is to extract the silicone so we can finish the work on the space shuttle. Unfortunately, our main machine has a, a small malfunction. Hmm, so we've got a malfunction. The previous operator of the bucket wheel excavator was just fired. Oh. I sure hope you can do better. Of course. Use the Thug ZM tow to get closer to the field workshop. Right, so we're going to be using the Thug's ZM or ZM tug, I think, or tow. Hmm. I think it's a tug. Um, so, yeah, this is basically in the game of Giant Machines 2017. I have played this briefly for about five minutes just to get the idea of what it's like. And in the five minutes I was playing it, it was pretty good. So I'm looking forward to doing this. So this is our tug just over here. I'm going to enter it by pressing E and if you press control you can see all of the controls on the left hand side there. Um, this game I probably should say at this point is not out yet, I have just been sent this, but it's not going to be too long until it's released. So we're not using the steering wheel today, in fact I don't think you even can do, you might be able to, uh, but we're going to be using the keyboard today just to make it simple. So to start the engine you have to press X, angry radio and we need to remove the handbrake by pressing spacebar and then we're free to drive so we're going over to the field workshop and as you can see there is a, a very mighty machine just in front of us there and I think we're going to be able to drive that at some point there is a lot of big machinery you can drive but the first look video we're probably just going to be focusing on one we'll have to see how we get on there is a radio we won't switch it on just now, um, because we need to focus on the job in hand. Once we've driven over here, I'm guessing we'll get the next objective, I would have thought. The broken wires lie on the tray next to the tank. Try to restore them using the workbench. Okay, so we need to uh, pick up the broken hydraulic hoses. I'm hoping the sound is loud enough for that, it didn't seem too loud before. You have to put the handbrake on and switch off the engine before you can get out of the vehicle. But the graphics, they're actually very good. They're very crisp. I have got this on the second highest graphic setting. There is actually an ultra setting. This is on very high. So here are the broken hydraulic hoses. We'll pick these up and we are instructed to take them over here. We can then repair them by pressing E. So hold down E to repair them. You can see they are cut, there's a few cuts in them. I see it get the hammer out. And they are well repaired. Done. I see you're doing great. Hey, try not to die while you're attaching the wires to the actuator a hundred meters above the ground. Oh, we'll try not to. So, we're quite a long way up. <laughs> I thought we were gonna be going horizontally across here, but now you look up and oh we've got to go up there. Wow. So, well, you can run. You can run if you want to. We're going to go up here, up these steps. I've just knocked my uh, sensitivity down for the mouse because it was a bit too sensitive. I'm guessing you can choose any way to go, or maybe only one way will take us to the right place. It's like a maze on a machine. Yeah, I don't think you can really get a sense of scale on this thing. Absolutely massive. up here. Yeah, so this has been sent to me by Playway. I get sent quite a lot of decent games from them, which is really good. Okay, how did you get up there? Aha! There's a ladder just here. We're getting closer. It's a good job we're not scared of heights, because this would be a very long way to go in real life. And at this speed, I don't know if I'll be able to do it, to be honest. 
So the job we've got to do is plug in the fixed hydraulic hoses. Right at the top of it. Can you look down? Ugh. That would be an almighty drop. I'm guessing it is possible to fall off, but I doubt it would uh, show any graphics of the splat. I think it's a fairly uh, family friendly game. 10 metres away. And here we are. Fits like a glove. Our next step requires starting the electromechanical transformers. Go to the main platform and turn them on. Okay, so we've got to turn these on. And that is, I'm guessing, down again. Lovely. Don't fall off. Do not fall off. No. Nope. Oh, I thought I'd fallen then. Yes, we probably should face this way if we're going to go down the ladder at this speed. One thing to notice is you can't actually sprint on the ladder, which is a good thing. We're going plenty fast enough. I think the place we've got to go to is directly below. It's big enough to be a ship. It's down below on deck. Almost there. I probably could, because I'm getting such a good frame rate on here, I probably could get away with putting the graphics on ultra. Ah, oh, so here is the command center. Just get close enough. This should be starting up. There we go. So as you can see, they are raising. Keep holding them down. Now this giant requires proper cooling. Turn on the two main fans using the lever on the back bridge. Right, the fan needs to be started. Yeah, I think we need to go back down here again. Oh, no, not that way. So, yeah, just to give you an idea, there are a lot of other massive machines you can use on this game. This is like an introduction, and I'm failing quite miserably at the introduction. How do you jump? You have to use spacebar to jump. There probably was a more suitable way around here. So there's one, and the other one, just here. So that's the cooling. All systems are up and running. Go to the driver's cabin, start the bucket wheel excavator, and take it to the silicone excavation site. Right, okay. That's what we'll do. We better do as we're told. We need to get down from here. Let's just jump this. Come on, jump. I think we'll just do the old fashioned thing and go down the steps. It will probably be easier. So here we are. That's the engine started up. And the radio, which I don't think we have running currently, but you can put on if you want to by pressing P. The engine is running. Do we have a handbrake? Oh, we do. We've got a handbrake, just like a car. And we're on the move. This is the external camera. Um, yes, this thing is absolutely gigantic. Wow, look at the speed we're moving at. This, by the way, is full speed. Uh, but you wouldn't want to go any faster, because you'll probably tip it over. It's just like navigating a ship. But you can see where we need to go to. That's our parking space just over there. Better go... Uh, oh, that's the uh, all the buckets on there, as you can see. What will eat away at the cliff face. But one thing I do want to point out here is how clear the textures are. They're very high quality. And you've got a lot of freedom in the cameras as well. You can pretty much look at anything you want to. You can spin around 360 degrees. And you've got two external cameras. And you've got a bucket camera. And also you've got the cockpit camera as well. So that is really good. You've got a wide range of things there. Um, looks like top speed is 2.6 kilometers per hour. But as I said, you would not want to go any faster. You can also drive dumpers and other construction and quarrying machinery. There's the conveyor running in there. Right, how are we doing? We're getting there. Very, very close to the box now. We'll have to be lined up. 
I am hoping to do more videos on this. This is just literally a first look video to get sort of first impressions and as I said before, I'm actually really impressed by it because I'm not going to name any names but in the past there has been some pretty abysmal games similar to this um, which I would never play but this one does seem to be very good and I'm not just saying that I'm not saying that because I've been sent it I get sent a lot of games and most of them I don't even try out for an obvious reason uh, but this one, no, this is good I like it right, we're almost there, we're 10 metres away so close but so far Keep it moving. The bucket wheel excavator. Yes, it's got four cameras. Don't tell me we've overshot. We've overshot at this speed. How is that even possible? Maybe we're not lined up properly. Yeah, I could have been a bit better lined up, I think. Good work. We can start mining tomorrow. Good. Mission completed. So we've got it ready for work. Next mission. Right. The bucket wheel excavator is operational now. So we can start extracting the silicone ore and filling our containers with it. Start the whole truck and take it to the unloading site of the bucket wheel excavator. Remember to monitor the hydraulic pressure levels. Going over the allowed maximum value will result in an emergency shutdown of the machine. You'll have to exit the machine and reset the fuses. Right, so it's getting a bit more challenging. Let's go over to here. And I think, yeah, this is the steps to the cab. So we'll start the engine, and we've got a very good heads up display in here, and we have to go quite a long way. We've got to go 700, or pretty much 800 meters actually, and that pretty much does give you a good sense of scale. We are driving down the road, and literally two of the back wheels take up the entire road. We probably should just stick to the side. But again, we've got a, a fantastic range of cameras. This is going much faster than the other machine we were driving. How did you get through? Somebody has put all these concrete bollards in the way. We're just going to have to follow the road. Okay. But not turn too tight, otherwise we're going to crush the bollards. So this is going to take all the material, the silicon ore, and from well, let's just have a look, see how clear all these textures are. Next time I do a video like this, it'll be at 60 frames per second. I just wasn't sure exactly how the game would handle, but clearly it's handling very well narrow through here. We've got the fuel level, the battery and the pressure on the dashboard including the amount of weight we've got in the back. So we have to position ourselves underneath the conveyor so it can take the ore straight from the machine. I'm going to reverse into here. I'm going to go onto the freedom camera so we can see exactly where we're reversing to. Stop there, put the handbrake on. Now we can start digging for real. Enter the operator cabin of the bucket wheel excavator and start the engine. Right, so we're doing everything here. We need to get off this machine and move back onto the bucket wheel excavator. Is this the right side? No, I don't think it is. So you can see we have to do everything. It's not spoon fed to us like some games are. This is very good. You have to do pretty much everything. Obviously, it's going to do a few minor things, but that's to keep it interesting. Can sprint up here. 
no health and safety. Uh, let's just jump over there. I've got a tendency to jump over the, the uh, barriers. And I probably should have done, because I've, I've gone the wrong way, completely. I have gone completely the wrong way. It's like a sign which says, don't press this button, and you're just tempted to press it. That's what I am like. Okay, I've been on here not long ago, and already I am lost. Yes, up here. Sprint to the end and start the bucket wheel excavator. So here we are. This is a much closer view of the bucket itself. Let's start it up. Start the wheel and begin gathering the ore. But be careful now. To minimize ore loss, peel off relatively small layers of soil at a time. So we need to gather a thousand tons of the raw silicon ore. So, to switch it on, we have to press R. And you can imagine the amount of power it would take just to get that thing moving, let alone when it's actually under load. So we have to take very small amounts at a time, but we still need to take 1,000 tons. Now rotate it because you can see it's sticking out a bit more here. See, already taking it, but taking it a bit too much there. So it's mining. We have taken eight tons so far. But we do have to be careful because you can overload the machine. Slow and steady is the best way of doing this. If you go and ram it in there too hard, the alarm will sound because you're overloading it and you have to reset it manually which we don't want to be doing here which went off then and in the cab it does actually flash that beacon above us flashes as you can see so yeah you've got to be uh, very steady with this machine because uh, you've got to appreciate the amount that it's actually taking in in one go it's an awful lot each bucket is taking a lot We'll actually raise it up because I think we're a bit too deep there. See pieces of ore going down the conveyor. So I'm taking it in at a good rate now, you can see it's going much quicker and we don't have the alarm because before I had it way too deep so it's trying to take so much in but this is so much better, really good. So now I'm going to start to lower it a bit more and then head back in the opposite direction. A uh, nice little backlog here really good backlog probably still mining it a bit too fast actually one point to note actually as you can see it's gone very laggy every time that you mine a piece of ice it's a backlog if you don't tilt it upwards it gets stuck and it creates a lot of lag to the production quality silicone Go on down to the unloading shaft and fill the whole truck up with the material. Yeah, so basically, it's accumulated everything. And, yeah, if you don't clear it, it gets very laggy. So we've shut the engine down. What we need to do now is climb back up here. And go over to the end. 
and then let everything go into the truck we've, which we've just brought and it should let every single piece of ore, every lump of ore, go in there in one go. Um, so this should be quite interesting. We actually mined a thousand tons but I'm guessing the capacity of this is 275 tons and a piece of ore managed to get to here. Brilliant. So when I find the way down, go to the dumper. Oh, oh, almost kill ourselves. That's good. And we'll climb onto the front of this and begin. No, we'll climb up here and begin. suit us better. Right, here goes. Make sure we've got a good view. We have to hold it down. And in it all goes. Everything which we have just mined. Luckily we can walk around while we're doing this. As long as you keep your finger on the E button on the keyboard, unless you're playing with the controller of course. There is controller support. I just have to make sure. Uh, so that's 125 tons. I'm sure you can see what I mean now. Every single lump of ore is its own object, and that is what creates the lag when you're mining it. But this will probably be rectified before the release. Right, almost there. 220. It's amazing how quickly these tons are adding up. Every lump must be a ton. And we're there. Go back to the haul truck and transport the ore to the container. The haul truck. That's what, what that's what it is. Oh, got stuck in a doorway? Things aren't really going to plan, are they? Go down there backwards, right, okay. Over to the haul truck, we'll get it started up again, and then we need to take it over to the destination. I think we've already loaded it actually, we put 291 in, I didn't realise that there wasn't an automatic cutoff. Not to worry, they'll probably reject it. Yes, 290, uh, yeah, 291 tons. Off we go. It's going to make it very top heavy. It's hard to imagine how heavy this would actually be. I don't know what the weight of the truck is itself. It must be quite a bit. Did we come this way? Did I actually drive underneath this thing? It only just fits. I'll tell you something, it's a good job there is no other traffic on the road. Getting closer, 350 meters away. These meters are being eaten up. The pressure's fine, fuel's fine, so things are going okay. Just got to make sure I don't go too fast because, as you can see, there's a lot of fluidity in these boulders or ore, and they could technically all just fly out the top. We seem to be gaining weight as well. Take it around here, and then we'll, I, I should think we'll have to back up to something and then tip it. Yes, the container. We'll have to back up to the container. Yes, we're still gaining weight, 300 tons. At least there's lots of space to go for. I bet they're actually really easy to drive in real life. It tends to be the same idea with a lot of things. The bigger it is, the easier it is to drive. Obviously, not the easier it is to navigate, though. It's one thing going forwards and backwards. Right, so... Oh, no, it's... Uh, yes, I was just thinking. I thought, oh, no, it's thought that I'm now using a controller. But no, it's the actual mouse right button to tip it up. Let's hope it all hits. Probably slow down a bit.
in it goes. Well, with that enthusiasm, I'm sure we'll get along splendidly. Oh, yeah, we're very enthusiastic. Mission completed. So, I'm going to leave it there for today. Hopefully, you've enjoyed the video. Um, we are going. I'm definitely, definitely going to continue with this. This is an amazing game. Um, I don't know how frequently I do the videos, but I'm definitely going to do another one. So, there we go. What do you think to it? That is the first look video. I honestly think it's very good. I think the fact that you get the lag spikes isn't quite so good, but that might be worked on. I'm not too sure. Uh, but that is my sort of first look summary video of Giant Machines 2017. And to be honest, it was much better than expected. Until the next video, thank you very much for watching. Thank you to Playway. And I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.